Hello everybody. Hello again. Welcome back to another exciting slot car race right here at Monster Hobbies. I'd like to say a special thank you to all my subscribers out in London, England, which we're honoring you for the two-month period, May and June, on your British tracks. And I'd also like to say hello to PM Hobbycraft up in up in Calgary there, who have been watching my videos, and uh, all the other people out there that are you know, looking at these videos, watching them, having fun, and learning how to build our tracks. Anyway, let's stop talking and let's start racing. So we'll go down to our track now and check it out. But I had shark, a little one of the two sharks, pretty much just like that, because I liked it. Yeah. Yeah. Trevor stretching his efforts to get you your shark. Yeah, no kidding. This is quite the track. You need to chop a big hole in the middle, get in. Put a giant hill on. Giant hill. I wish I could. You got 700 miles to start from. Racing at Open Park. It's a big accident. Oh, nice. You have to get it from the get it from the narrow side of the track. The only way I could put you on, I didn't want to go back because you might get upset. Don't worry, I'll get upset for you not doing any fun. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, spinning around. I'm already four cards in for racing. Right on. Well done. You're so slow. <laughs> when I go slow, the guys come up from behind and jam me off in. the track. Oh, we that. Sorry, Steve. Oh, really? If you go slow enough, it's actually impossible to do it. Oh, right. All I gotta do is get oh. my secret shot. Oh. Oh. oh, sorry. I'm not going to get to another one. I'm goddamn well out. You're out of there. Very good. You have so many times. I invented it. Yeah, by far. Boy, it's getting loud. Place. You were playing unlimited, but it got too dangerous. Yeah. People were wrecking cars in that. It was brutal. Yeah, without the cars. Cards. Oh, Stevens on. Yeah, he can't let Dale win this. Sorry, Dale. You're the leader. If that car comes off the track, you just take your time putting it back on. Yeah. Put it all backwards. You have to go in half a second. You've got to do it fresh, put it on backwards. Yeah. So we're down to our last three guys on the track. Oh, then there's Fred with my car, which is. Oh yeah, we've got. We're missing two people, so we got ten racers tonight instead of the usual twelve. The usual gang of thieves. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Mike. Mike doesn't have a car. He doesn't have a car. No. Howard went and bought it on him. Oh, yeah. yeah. I had one left. Howard got it. I thought they had a blue card. I know. It's exactly the same as mine. But it's not the same. You must have magnets on the bottom. Yeah, we all do. They all do. There's no way Roger's still in the in the uh you know, power still in the uh in the Oh my goodness, four minutes still gone. Coming into position. our last couple oh, minutes. Is that number four? Oh Howard got out. 
That was awesome. That was third. <laughs> <You're> third. <laughs> Did the buzzer go? Not yet. No. A few more minutes on the clock. Stephen, can you come last? Like most of the night, I have to make up two points on you. No, no. The boring Just part of the film. <laughs> okay, there it is. <laughs> oh, rolled it. What's going on? 44 laps, 4, 2, 6, 3, 5. With Dale, it's number four. And wasn't that another amazing race? And here we are at our final scoreboard, looking at our scores. Now, Monster Hobbies, which is me. I got 28 points. Matt got 33. Devin at 34, Mark at 14, Kevin at 24, Fred did not show, Dale got 48, Josh got 27, Mike and Roger didn't show, Howard got 28, Stephen got 31, and Jeff got 19. Now let's see how this looks at the standings over here. I'm in 6th place with 77, Matt is in 3rd place with 91, Devin is 4th with 88, Mark is 10th with 36, Kevin is 2nd with 98, um, Fred is ninth with 37. Dale is first with 134. Josh is seventh place with 68. Mike is 12. Twelfth place did not show. Uh, Roger is 11th with 25. Howard is fifth place with 79. Stephen is third with 91. And Jeff is eight with 62. We don't have any people tied this week. Oh yes, we do. We have Howard and Matt both tied for third with 91 points each. All right, and now as promised, we will go over and look at how to build Olten Park. And here we are at our flat tables for Olten Park. Now Matt is a connoisseur of British tracks and he says that actually there's hills involved in this, but I didn't get them in. If you want hills in your track, you'll have to look at pictures of Olten Park and figure out where they are. <laughs> now this track ended up being a bit shorter, could actually have gone just on, on the green 4x8s. They're arranged in our traditional 16x8 uh, foot rectangle. Okay, so this track's got a little bit crooked, a little crooked slant to it, so it's kind of hard to line it up. You'll have to turn it in sections just to get it into the right position. But anyway, so let's see. Here's our edge of the table. This The track could also be to the edge. Let's keep that in mind. But right here we've got a 120 degree turn. And you got your table edge here. So you can use that as a reference point. So maybe let's start it from there. So you got a 120 degree turn. Then you got a quarter straight. And then you're doing this little reverse kick. This is a uh, 1-30. And then you've got your two straights for your start finish. And then we've got our 90 degree curve here and two straights, a reverse 90 degree curve over there. One, two, three straights and another 90 degree turn. So you're making a, a square box there. Then you, we've got one straight, and I decided to put the, the cross, the center cross right here. Then we've got a 180 degree curve. Then we've got another set of straights right here, and I decided to use the outer forced crosses. So that way the center guy switches, and then they switch out here and there. Uh, okay, so then we have a 1-30 and two straights where I put the chicanes. I put them to the edge of the table so that guys could reach in if the car got hit. Then we have a 60 degree curve and then one, two, three, four, five, six straights. And I put the switches here, which will shoot you into the tight corners. And then we have another 1-30 going this way, arcing into the table. So two straights and then a 1-60. And then we do a 90, no, we do a 120 degree reverse curve, one, two. And we have one, two, three straights. And I put our uh, controllers over here with the tower because there wasn't any room 
over there. Now when Carrera gets the extensions finally finished and out to market, to market, to market, to buy a fresh <laughs> extension, jiggity jig. Okay, anyway, I can get rid of these. I can get rid of my crossed wires underneath here. And I can put that terminal there. Now, I, I do believe that I can't say for sure because no one knows because it's not out yet. Don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure. No, it would have to be that you can plug in the extensions like those into the end of this. I think that's how they link them all together. So that'll leave one of those extensions open and then I can take one of those red directional power control things and put it right there and always have my controllers right with my start finish gate on all the upcoming tracks. So please Carrera, hurry up and bring this out to market. Anyway, let's take a step back and see our table from this angle here and hope I don't walk into a chair. Okay. And there it is. So I hope this helps you build your own Olten Park at home. And remember, if you want hills, well, you got to look up where they go. So thanks again for watching. And I'll just zoom in on the British flag here as I say my goodbyes.